What up guys, Andres here with Steps for Improvement and in this video you're going to be getting three challenges that will cure your social and anxiety and demolish that shit. I'm going to hit the streets and demonstrate these challenges and show you how it's done. So if you're down, stick around for challenge number one. Now I'm actually in the city and like I said, I'm going to be demonstrating these challenges that I present to you. Quick word on social and anxiety. If, you, if this is something that you suffer from right now, know that this is something that you can easily overcome. Social and anxiety is not a death sentence. Now these challenges that I'm about to present to you are pretty much the exact same challenges that I used. Each challenge is a bit harder and is designed to crush your social and anxiety. Now in this video, I'm going to be assuming that you have severe social and anxiety, which means you can't even go up to someone and start a conversation with them, which you know a lot of people suffer from. I suffer from this myself. I could not hold this conversation to save my life. I could not keep eye contact to save my life. It was that crazy. But by using these challenges, I completely overcame my social anxiety. And speaking about that, challenge number one is bulletproof questions. Now what this challenge entails is that you simply have to go up to a completely random stranger and ask them a bulletproof question like what's the time? This is great for many reasons. Number one, there's no rejection involved at whatsoever. You're simply stopping a stranger and asking for the time and moving on with your day. And typically when you have social anxiety, you typically have a fear of rejection which limits you to a lot of things like, for example, approaching a cute girl on the street and asking for her number. Bulletproof questions are a good way to start working on your fear of getting rejected because you know there's no rejection involved but there's still this human interaction. Now I'm actually waiting for my friend who's gonna help me film this video, you know. I'm gonna go up to these random strangers, ask for the time for example and the other challenges. So I'm gonna demonstrate challenge number one once he gets here. Do you happen to know what the time is my phone actually done? <laughs> 1747. Thank you. Have a nice day. Alright, so first challenge down. That was a super easy one. Like I said, this is a bulletproof question, so rejection is not gonna happen. Let's move on to something more difficult now. Alright, so challenge number two is to simply go up to a random stranger and to ask for directions. Preferably, try to continue the conversation to your best ability. I'm gonna demonstrate challenge number two, but let's head to downtown Uppsala. Hey, excuse me. The Japanese know how to get to Terrasan. To what? Terrasan. Terrasan. Uh, I think it's left on the street. Yeah. Left on the street. Okay. Left. And then it's like big square. Are you from Uppsala? Yeah, but I don't usually go to Terrasan actually. Hey, where would you go? Where would you recommend? Student Nation. Okay. What's the best student nation in Uppsala, according to you? Best. Where's that one? <laughs> okay. Okay. Let me is, yeah, if you could take left over the water, but it should be on like the left side. Yeah, I'll try to find it. You know what? I gotta be honest with you. I'm actually filming a YouTube video with my friend. Mm. Friends actually filming there. Is it okay if I use it in the video? I can blur your face out if you want. Okay. No, it's fine. It's okay? Yeah. Alright, so that is a very good example of it. A little bit harder challenge you could do, you know, try to start a conversation with a completely random stranger. Now you can start out with a really blank question like asking for directions for example and then like we talked in the other videos try to focus the conversation on the other person so ask what her preferences are she said that she doesn't usually go to that bar so I asked her what kind of bar do you usually go to what is the best bar in Uppsala according to you and that's a pretty easy conversation starter anyways I'm gonna make it a little harder on myself challenge number three is to go up to a cute girl tell her that she's cute and ask for her number and while this video is about social and anxiety and overcoming rejection and you know rejection can be a good thing there's always something you can learn from rejection let's hope I don't get rejected let's hope I get this number challenge number three about to go down excuse me do you happen to know how to get to like a good sushi place in the area I've been looking for ages like in this hall uh, it's Salo Helen yeah yeah uh, I, uh, have you been there no I've seen that I walked past yeah. it I, I think it's great sure. it's the nearest like best place i would say you know what i gotta be honest with you i stopped you because i thought you were really cute i want to say hi hi <laughs> what's your name angelina andres very nice no one's coming up to me like that so you can take it as a compliment thank you so what, what are you here doing i'm gonna i'm going home from work i've been working all day you work, i, I, I actually you work, work there, there. no yeah. way <laughs> no not at a sushi place but but uh you can the fish place. Yeah. okay i'll check That's it really out it's really nice of you thank you yeah. i'll let you run but would you want to hang out sometime sure sure I can get you I have the number. You know what? I gotta be honest with you. I'm filming a YouTube video. What? A YouTube video. 
can I use the approach of the video? It's about how to approach girls and how to overcome social anxiety. Yeah, of course. Can I use you in the video? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. All right, so last challenge down. I got the number. I'm feeling good about myself. In reality, these are some really good challenges you can do if you suffer from social anxiety. You know, this will really put yourself outside of your comfort zone. And trust me when I say that this will demolish your social anxiety because you're facing your fear head on. I'm actually on my way home. I got to cook some food for my shift tomorrow for my regular nine to five job. You know, I'm out here grinding these videos after my regular nine to five. So I'm gonna wrap up the video once I get home. All right, so I'm back at the crib. Let me set this camera down. All right, so like I said, I'm gonna wrap up the video here, but those are my three challenges I recommend you do if you suffer from social anxiety, because these challenges, if done, if done properly, will put yourself outside of your comfort zone. You know, you're gonna face fear head on. And that's how I recommend that you do it. Obviously start small, so if you can go up to a stranger, you know, and start a conversation with them, or go up to a stranger, a girl for example, you know, tell her that she's cute and ask for her number, then obviously, you know, you gotta start small, start baby steps. But just remember that as you do these small challenges, make sure to try to make it harder for yourself and try to push yourself, because that's ultimately what's gonna demolish your social anxiety. For the hell of it, tweak the challenges. Tweak the challenges so they fit you. You know, that's how, these are the exact same challenges that I used about three or four years ago when I was starting to work on myself, you know, when I was really starting my self-improvement journey. These are the exact same challenges that I used. So obviously tweak the challenges if they don't fit you. I'm gonna wrap up the video here, but those are my three challenges I got for you if you got social and anxiety. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe because I upload new videos every single Monday and Friday. And make sure to follow me on Instagram as well because I'm dropping new content there every single week. And with that all out of the way, I'm gonna see you guys in the next video.